At the beginning of the COVID pandemic, our innovative respiratory consultants conceived of, designed and implemented a virtual hospital for patients suffering with COVID-19. This not only prevented multiple admissions, but also facilitated early discharge of patients who had required hospital care. The program was so successful that over 6,500 patients went through the virtual hospital, and this became a beacon within the NHS. With the experience that we've gained from this, we decided we should branch out to other fields and are now designing and implementing virtual hospitals for both heart failure and chronic obstructive airways disease. At the heart of this new model of care is our new MDT. We've tried to put around the table either physically or virtually every care professional that should be feeding in to designing a program of care for that patient moving forwards. The onboarding phase into the virtual hospital is probably the most important and the most uh, critical because this is probably the first contact we make about the virtual hospital. So uh, usually the hub nurse goes uh, him or herself, meet the patient, and there is also this first contact with the technology. And the kit that is available now is very unobtrusive um, and after a couple of days patient even forgets that they're wearing it. But it's extraordinary what information we can get from that. Um, and that's transmitted to us at hospital and gives us a continuous stream of information. The next stage, of course, is that the patient goes home. Our specialist nurses who've got their own office, which we call the, uh, the virtual hospital hub, has a suite of computers um, showing continuous readouts uh, for every patient in the virtual hospital. The virtual hub is our situation room. It's where everything happens. It's very dynamic. So in real time, we receive all the data, blood pressure, heart rate, O2 saturation, respiration rate of all our patients that are in the virtual hospital. And the hub nurse is actually watching this constantly. Uh, because this is an integrated uh, care model, we're very fortunate to have a team of extremely experienced community-based nurses who also visit the patient. We know the power of a good face-to-face -face and CLCH, our partners, are extremely helpful with, with this. I was a bit apprehensive at first about the te technology because I'm not a techno person, but it's, it's as simple as ABC. Anybody of any age can do it. When you're at home, it helps you recuperate uh, more, I think. Like you're in your own environment, you know where everything is, you uh, can sleep better, uh, you know you're being kept an eye on by the hospital anyway, because you've got constant contact with them, because I uh, have a nurse ring me and a doctor ring me every single day. And it makes me feel safe and secure knowing they're on the other end of the phone. We find that the patient, and we hear that the patient feels like they are at the center of their care. They can master their disease. It's not the disease mastering them anymore. And they are participating actively in their care. So this is a major change compared to you know, conventional hospital care.